friends, welcome back to my channel. We are a little bit past due on my Pan That Palette update for June. So let's go ahead and jump in and look at what my palette looked like after five months of usage. Here's what my palette looks like after six months and a week of usage. Okay, so some pretty substantial progress, I think, over the past five weeks. Um, I really was religiously using khaki as a crease shade and have really gotten that work down to next to nothing. I also worked on sand a little bit and made some progress there. And I also used opal for a few looks and started to make a little bit of a dent. Um, and I also really started to work on vanilla. And you'll also maybe notice that good old cashmere is gone. I am somewhat sad about that, but you know what? I'm just happy that I managed to get through another shade. Currently, despite us being six months in, I have only panned completely three shadows, um, which I feel like is not the best when you look at, you know, data points, but I'm getting closer on really being able to use up khaki, which to use up an entire crease shade, I think is really substantial. Um, I also did some work on Smoky Topaz and Dusty Rose, and I definitely feel like those will be easy ones for me to completely pan as well. So I'm happy with this. I've also been using, um, Sapia and Camel, but they're definitely slow moving. They just don't really require much to create pigment on my eyes, and they take a lot to create any kind of dense with. I did do one look with Orchid, which was just so-so. It's still not my favorite color, and I also did one look with Wisteria, but I was really gravitating towards a lot of the neutral type looks or easy go-to looks for me. So my goals coming in for for the next three weeks since I did have this an extra week before I filmed my um, update. I want to keep working on vanilla and I would like to work on khaki and maybe get khaki done. I definitely feel like khaki is a comfort zone shade for me and so until it's out of the palette I probably will not be inclined to explore some of the other shades in here. So I'm kind of like a fiend sometimes when I get that much pan showing and I don't think it will take that much work since I really <laughs> cleaned house on this shade in the last five weeks. But all in all, I'm really happy with this. To give you guys some other updates, because I am now at the point where I'm having to pull in other palettes, I did finish up the Kiko Milano cream shade that I had in here. This definitely took a lot longer to use up than I thought. There is a lot of shadow wedged into these tiny little squares, but I'm happy to have gotten through one shade in here. And so then I decided to pull out my NYC New York Color Individual Eyes in Midtone Mauve. This, I don't think NYC still like exists in the US or at least not at drugstores that I have found but I wanted to work on this cream shade this is a pretty big pan it will take me some time to get through um, you can see that I've worn away the pattern that you can see on the other shades that used to be on here and so we'll see I definitely think that it will be a slow moving shade but that's okay I don't necessarily want to destroy all of my cream shadows in one year but I'm still feeling really good. I surprisingly am not bored of this palette yet. I really thought that I would be. My only concern that we stand at right now is that as I start to really finish up vanilla and sand, I will be left with very few lid shades in here. And you guys know based on the palette that I did last year, it's super slow progress if I'm only down to working with crease shades. So I definitely will have to get more creative as we get deeper into this palette lifespan in the next six months. But 
I don't know, I'm feeling good. I feel like this has been more progress than I thought I was going to possibly make. Even though I only have three used up, I do have pretty substantial pan on six and pan on seven in total. So I don't know, I'm feeling good, I'm liking life, and I'm gonna try to maybe do some color exploration as well in these summer months to see if there are any of these brighter shades that I could use in a more everyday way when school resumes that wouldn't feel super obnoxious or crazy as a high school teacher to be rocking on her face. But that is it for me and this update. If you have an update or anything that you want to share with me about this palette, tell me in the comments below and I'll talk to you in my next video real soon. Bye!